Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about a special type of counters called multi-stage counters. These counters are also used for counting pulses only, just like our normal counters do. Then the obvious question comes to our mind that what is special in multi-stage counters? Actually, these counters are architectured in such a way that they can operate at a very high clock frequency as compared to our normal single stage counters. So they are also called high frequency counters. So let us see how we design them. Viewers, we are going to create many other videos like this. For all the knowledge updates, please be connected to us and make sure that you have subscribed our channel. Single stage counters are very easy to implement in any HDL language. For example, we simply need to write these two lines in Verilog to implement them. And the logic synthesizer will implement them something like this. Count plus one is available at the output of the adder and at the input of the register. But this count variable will only be updated at the positive edge of the clock. As per the static timing analysis, the time period of the given circuit will be greater than or equal to T setup of a flip-flop used inside the register plus delay of the adder that is T adder plus TCQ. It is a propagation delay of a flip-flops used inside the registers. T setup and TCQ are a parameter of a flip-flops used inside the register which will remain fixed for a particular technology or a process and the only variable parameter remains is T adder that is delay of a adder. As the counter width increases, adder width will also increase accordingly which in turn will increase the adder delay significantly. If adder delay that is T adder increases, T period is bound to increase. And F max, which is maximum operating frequency and is equal to invert of T period will reduce significantly with increase in T adder or added delay. So our counters become very slow at significantly large width. And that is where multi-stage counters play their role. Before knowing multi-stage counters, let me tell you about a secret magic in binary counting. This table shows counting from 0 to 8 and let us divide this table into two parts. Let us observe the two LSE bits. It is basically a 2 bit binary counting which is counting from 00 to 01 then 1011 then again it repeats its count 00 01 and so on. It is an independently running 2-bit counter. It is not dependent on 2 MSV bits. And now let us observe 2 MSV bits. It is also a 2-bit binary counter which increments its value when 2-bit LSV counter overflows its value. Otherwise it retained its previous value. Now this is a 2-bit LSB counter which is running independently and this unit is also a 2-bit MSB counter which increments its value when there is an overflow on the first stage of the counter and this overflow is detected by the control logic. Now the obvious question comes to our mind is that what is the gain of implementing a binary counter using multiple stages instead of single stage. As per the static timing analysis, time period of a given multi-stage counter will be dependent on T array 2. And if we implement the same 4-bit binary counter using single stage counter, the time period will be dependent on T adder 4. So T adder 4 will be quite higher than T adder 2. That means T period of single stage counter will be more than uh, time period of a multi stage counter. That means multi stage counters can work at quite higher operating frequency as compared to single stage counters. In practical uh, situation, we recommend multi stage counters only when the counter width is quite high. 
for example 40 bit 50 bit etc multi stage counters can have any number of stages and the counter shown in a figure have five stages stage 1 is running independently and stage 2 increments its value when first stage counter overflow and this overflow is detected by control logic 1 similarly stage 3 increments its value when both stage 1 and stage 2 counters overflow and this overflow is detected by control logic 2 and so on moreover multi stage counter can have non uniform stages for example stage number 1 can be a 5 bit counter and stage 2 can be a 10 bit long and stage 3 can be a 15 bit long counter multi stage counters are quite useful in applications like BR measurement where bit count to be measured is quite high. This is all about multi-stage counters. Hope you would have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.